Are we ready? Deshaun, how do you think you played against uh, ULM? Uh, I think I played pretty good. Um, I think defense played pretty good overall. Offense was played pretty good. Um, it was a good team win. Um, Coach Mazzon preached all week about just coming out and um, just getting better in all three phases. And Coach still wanted it on the defensive individually to either be uh, our, our best game. And I'm not really sure it was my best game of the year, but I feel like I played pretty well. Defense has done so well this season. How does things change, though, when you guys get on the road and have to communicate and everything? Nothing's changed. I um, mean, since, since day one, we've, we've always uh, been the same team. Everything's really routine. I and mean, practice hasn't changed. The way we were playing with the Clips in Alabama, the <laughs> Dallas Cowboys, I mean, Coach Steele and our coaching staff on the defense side of the ball, you know, we're very routine. And no matter who we're facing, home or away, you know, nothing's going to change. John, just getting a couple of wins, how much does it change things just from a confidence standpoint after you get a couple on your belt like you had? I think um, our confidence is, is really, really high right now. Um, be a good LSU team um, at home after coming out, um, coming off of a heartbreaking loss to Texas A&M. And um, uh, last week, you know, I mean, this week put up a lot of points. The defense had um, U11 team to seven points. Could have been a shutout. So, I mean, going, going to um, – to the road stretch of the schedule, I feel like it, it was really important to get those two big wins, you know, heading to a, a, a tough Mississippi State environment. How important is this game to you, just coming up against Mississippi State? It's, it's really important. I mean, you know, like I say, first home away game against a good Mississippi State team. I mean, we're, um, we're pretty comfortable with what they're going to do. Um, pretty much we know what we're going to see. You just got to contain that quarterback. Uh, just limit big plays, play good up front, I think we'll be fine. Is that a little weird for you that it's – Six weeks into the season, you guys are gonna have your first away game now. <laughs> yeah, that is really weird. But I mean, it's been fun, you know, playing at home these first five games. Our fans have been, you know, lights out um, every week. They showed up in, in great numbers, and they've been cheering from the first step, the first snap to the last snap. And I feel like, um, to to a certain extent, you know, it, it really, really plays an advantage to us. Um, like I said, we're about to go into a tough, tough old stretch. But I feel like we have a great identity of who our team is now. How hard on how hard on yourselves were you that you lost a touchdown at the end of the first half? <laughs> we were really hard on ourselves because um, I mean I don't know. Well, we don't know really when the last time Arvin got a shutout. So I mean, and going into the game, you know, that was really um, our mindset. You know, is to, to put up zero points and, and, and contain them on the um, the yard side numbers. But I um, mean, just another opportunity to come out and do it next week against a good Mississippi State team, and it would be more respected now. In fact. It affects more of the offense, but has anybody, uh, any of the older guys, talked to you about having to play with the cowbells and having to get used to that? Yeah, I mean, I, I've, um, I've always hated those cowbells. <laughs> I mean, even when I was recruiting, uh, getting recruited, um, I went there. I was like, there's no way I could, I could play it like at school like this with the cowbells. But I mean, it's, it's a good program nonetheless. But I mean, uh, it, we're not on the defense side of the ball. We're not going to really hear. But I mean, when the offense is out there, I know it's going to be <laughs> really nerve wracking. For you guys as defense, is it? I mean, obviously you're playing on the road, but is it almost easier a little bit to play on the road because it's quieter, your communication a little bit easier to do than it is at home? Yeah, um, especially um, in the core, because I mean, a lot of times, like I say, these first five games, our fans have been, you know, unbelievably loud, and and we we've really needed it. So I mean, sometimes uh, you know, you watch film or even just watch the game period, you know, you can see me having to literally like go into the interior front and yell in their ears for them to, you know, move this way, move that way. But I feel like um, communication would be very smooth, you know, by being on the road now. Deshaun, when did you know your your, your group, your core group of linebackers were, were, were going to be this solid? Was it was it a year ago? Was it, I mean, because you've got three guys that walked mm -hmm. out the door and, and you guys just don't have any, any question marks anymore after a month into the year. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, that's, I mean, that's, that's just go out praise to, you know, our coaching staff, you know, Coach T. Will and, and, and Coach Steele, they've done a, a really great job from, you know, just molding guys. I mean, guys like Montez actually, he played a really great game um, this Saturday. And, I mean, really no one thinks he'll be playing linebacker at Army University. So, I mean, our coach, they've really been, even myself, you know, they've really been um, building us and molding us into who they want us to be. And, and we just really playing with a lot of confidence right now. We're flying around to the wild. Did that happen last year? Did it happen this spring? You know, um, did, how, when did you guys start feeling good about the way you guys were, were kind of progressing? Really, um, individually, I felt I felt good yeah, last bowl practice when um, Coach Travis mm -hmm. took over. And uh, I feel like, you know, even in the bowl game, we played probably the best linebacker play that we have seen the whole year. Um, to, to my, um, for my opinion, anyways. But I mean, when he took over in the spring, we found out he he was going to get a job. We already knew, you know, the type of coach he was and how practice was going to be and everything. So you know, he's really just 
trying to uh, pass the torch to us of how a uh, great linebacker play should be because he was the last guy to win all SEC um, as a linebacker here. And he's really been telling us, he really believed that someone in our room can be an all SEC linebacker. And, you know, we believe that, like I said, our confidence is really high. You know, we just got to keep making plays into the system. You talked about, Monta you talked about Montavious. Yeah. So why is he being able to make that transition so, so well and you know, out there producing with you guys? Like I just said, it's just coaching. And um, our scheme is, um, is, is really simple. No, we, we don't really do too much thing. Really what we want to do is just get everyone on the same page, just communicate well, just fly around and play hard and play fast. But you know, he, has, he has unbelievable speed. He's a, a great competitor. And um, you know, he, he's really just bought into the system. He's really playing with a lot of confidence right now. Deshaun, big picture, what does it mean to you this year to be such a big part of the defense to be playing so much? Um, me individually, you know, it, it, it means a lot to me because um, prior to this year, I haven't really played football since my 11th grade year. Of high school, so I mean, just to be on the field for the first snap against Clemson, you know, I was I was really proud and overwhelmed. You know, um, it, it still, you know, <laughs> it seems kind of unreal to me, just you know, just look up in the stand and see all those people, you know, cheering for the Army defense and just to know I'm on the field. So I mean, I, I'm enjoying every second of it. Did you ever get down and think about transferring those last two years before this year? I mean, um, I, I've had my doubts um, of just you know, just by me being a competitor and me not, you know. Um, my career not starting out the way that I wanted to start out, but I mean, I've always been the type of guy, you know, I always had to, had to overwork for everything. So, I mean, like I say, Coach Tua, he always stayed in my corner. He always believed in me. So, even when things weren't, you know, going the way that I felt things were, uh, were supposed to go, you know, he kept me on, on the right side of the line and, and he wasn't going to let me leave. I tried to leave anyway. But, I mean, I never went to any coaches or anything, but just compared to me, it, uh, compared to Emmy, wanted to be on the field and, and, and now I'm just there.